one way to extend this standard model, and perhaps embed it in a more fundamental theory which answers some of the open questions, is to try for further unification. Remarkably, it is possible to construct models which unify quarks and leptons and which also unify the electroweak and strong forces. At the same time some fundamental questions can indeed be answered. The approaches which have been attempted are called Grand Unified Theories guts. They have several very attractive features. The many similarities between quarks and leptons suggest putting them into representations of a larger symmetry group, so that the relations between them are consequences of the theory. It turns out that a variety of ways to do that have been found. We look at the simplest. Just as SU2 representations begin with the doublet, SU5 representations begin with a five-component object. An SU5 multiplet can be assigned as a left-handed, nu E, electron, D-bar red, D-bar green, and D-bar blue. The top two are the SU2L doublet. The next three states are the color triplet D-bar L. Only a left-handed fermion can go with the left-handed lepton doublet since angular momentum and this internal symmetry group must commute. Put differently, there will be raising and lowering operators that move up and down in the SU5 multiplet, and they must not change a spin projection. Recall that right-handed fermions and left-handed antifermions are SU2 singlet, so D bar L is an SU2 singlet and color triplet. Simply by considering this representation, we can find several surprising and very interesting results. The generators of SU and transformations are traceless. Imagine that the generators are represented by matrices. Diagonal generators have their eigenvalues as the diagonal elements, so their trace is just the sum of their eigenvalues, which must consequently be zero. This is familiar for angular momentum, where the diagonal generator is Jz. The eigenvalues of Jz always sum to zero. This mathematical property has important consequences because we want the SU2 and U1 invariances of the theory to be part of the SU5 invariance. The electric charge operator is a linear combination of the diagonal SU2 and U1 generators. Thus we want to require that the sum of the eigenvalues of the electric charge be zero. This implies Q nu E plus Q E plus 3 Q D bar equals zero so we have derived Q D bar equals one third the fractional charge of the down quark. The fractional charge of quarks is related to the number of colors, and the relation comes out right. Such an embedding of quarks and leptons into one simple group explains why Q electron equals minus Q proton, that is, why charge is quantized, and why atoms are neutral. Just from this result, we can see why it is easy to believe there is some validity to the gut approach.